So what's going on guys, it's Master of here and today I'm doing a quick loadout explanation video uh, just basically to help you understand what it is because when I first came on to uh, play Extinction I was utterly confused by the loadout and I bet a lot of other people were as well. So I'm just going to quickly explain it over you. So you have six different sections in your loadout. You have two which uh, don't aren't used in the game and then you have four which affect the game uh, in a different way. So we'll start with the first one, which is uh, we've got four sections in each one. And the first one is weapon specialist. So this is all about uh, your weapons. So using this you have faster aiming down sights, faster reloading, more bullet damage. So basically if you're very weapon orientated, which obviously will be, but if you, you can split obviously these four over four people in the game. So if you want to be very weapon orientated, this is the best one for you because it gives you a faster gameplay and gives you a bigger edge over uh, lots of horde basically of enemies. So the next one's the tank which is all about health and making you stronger. It also allows melee attacks to do a lot more damage. Uh, as you can see the top one is 100% more health and 100% more melee damage which means you have twice as much health and uh, the aliens to start with take two hits to kill they only take one the little aliens uh, to start with if you have that on full the next one's engineer uh, engineer is all about uh, the drill and just being uh, having extra stuff brought to you so you get uh, to repair the drill faster uh, all your traps give you more cash because obviously when you use a trap and you get a kill you get less cash than you would if you killed them yourself but this gives you even more cash uh, so when you're repairing the drill you don't get hurt as much as well and the traps last longer which is really good if you're trying to defend uh, like a hive or something and you're you know you've got a drill somewhere and they and they have to come through a trap this makes them last longer to make you survive a little bit easier so uh, it also lets your wallet hold more cash because the amount you can hold is 6,000 which is actually very little when you start getting into uh, hive 8 and beyond you'll find you have 6,000 so easily so that's really helpful to get more cash. With the medic uh, the first thing is just you revive allies more quickly uh, then all of this kind of stuff really helps your gameplay so you can move faster and when you're reviving other people it doesn't hurt you as much which is really good so that you uh, don't get downed as well when you're trying to revive a buddy. Uh, so all your teammates near you can also have health regenerate faster on uh, gas clouds do no damage uh, and you have very fast movement unlimited distance uh, team health regeneration which means everyone over the whole team is being rejuvenated quickly so each one of these should be selected for one person if you're playing a full game uh, because they all give the whole team a boost in one way or the other if you're doing it yourself on solo personally I think tank is the best only because you're going to be taking more hits and they're going to be aliens right up in your face so you need the more damage uh, defense and you also need the melee, extra melee. I would have thought in the tank they would also give you faster rejuvenation of health but they don't, they just give you more health. So this one here is quite simple, this is just the pistol type uh, to start with. So you have four pistols, you have the P226 pistol which is pretty good, it's a very standard and basic pistol. The 44 Magnum which is very high powered but not very accurate and lots of recoil and quite a long time to reload. You have the M9A1 pistol which is the three round burst which is really good. Uh, probably my favourite one that I've used uh, in offline play. And the MP443 Grash which is a fully automatic close range pistol. Really good when it's causing any close up to you but can be hard to use over a long distance. So all of them have these same increases as you can see underneath. Uh, basically the first one increases damage at long range and faster movement with the pistol the second one is 50% more ammo in each magazine then this is the one that's the most important really is the carry your pistol and two primary weapons so you have to start with you only have one primary weapon and your pistol uh, people think you can swap out your pistol which I did on my first go uh, but it just replaces your primary so it's a waste of money and then the last one is you hit fire two pistols for twice the power so, and twice the ammo so that's actually really good especially if you're using one pistol at a time you'll get uh, even more kills from that because you're not wasting and spraying ammo so the next one down you can have another five different possibilities and this one's all about ammo so you start off with very normal ammo this basically each one you get 
each ammo pack you throw, you get 40% of your max ammo capacity. Now when you uh, upgrade this, then you get 70%. And then when you, uh, the next one is when you pick up the ammo, your mag is pre-filled. Uh, then the, the last one is ammo regenerates for all players within 20 foot of a box. So if you have a box on the ground, your ammo will rejuvenate, which is really handy. So these next ones people were very confused about. Basically what this does is it's the exact same as the first one, as in you'll get ammo, but this is a different type of ammo. So you have shock, uh, stun ammo, you have incendiary ammo, which is fire, explosive, which is explosive, and armor piercing, which is really deadly. The one, only one weakness to these four is you don't get the extra rejuvenation and you don't get it to fill up straight away as you pick up the crate, but the damage of these is incredible. Using the armor piercing ammo, you can tear through one of the hunters within seconds. So I really recommend doing these. Um, at the moment online, I've unlocked a stun, but I've unlocked the others on solo on offline. And the armor piercing is by far my favorite. And then it's probably the incendiary because this uh, doesn't just damage them as your normal bullet. It also hits the fire straight away, which gives it a plus uh, uh, bonus of when you hit them. And then it also burns them over time. So if you're running away, you're burning them and they're likely gonna be dead by a few seconds. So that's the ammo. The team support is five different supports. So you have explosives, feral instincts, armor, team booster, and random supplies. So team explosives is obviously a load of explosives. As you upgrade, you get more and better explosives, which is very simple and it's good to use against the uh, destroying the hive when you've got the helicopter as it destroys them very quickly. So next is the feral instincts. Now this is saying you're animal-like. These only last for a period of time. Uh, so as do all of them, but with the explosives, you can keep them for a long time and use them when you want. These will activate as soon as you use them and then they will re lose over time. So this has extra stuff like more health, quicker rejuvenating health, more boosters and you know added sprint endurance and stuff like that. Next is armor, which is my favorite one to use because if you're using if you're playing solo if you've got the strength 100 percent extra and you've got a, a full armor kit on you're very hard to kill and these are also cheap when you throw them out so it's nice to upgrade uh, the team booster is good it gives you boosts of speeding up weapon handling um, when drills being repaired and all that kind of stuff it's good but it's not the best i wouldn't i, I don't think i'd bother using this one when we did this one in offline play, this we found this one to be the least useful. Random supplies is really good. Uh, basically, it gives more effective uh, supplies <coughs> at higher levels. So you get a, a random load of supplies to you, and you get rare items more common as you get higher up. So that's the last one, which is really good. So I recommend if you're playing four player, have them all except for the team booster. With the strike package, this is basically like a kill streak. So you have the IMS, uh, which is great when you're defending near you. Um, you get basically you just this just upgrades the IMS, makes it more powerful, lasts longer, and has a larger radius of impact. You then have the mortar strike, which you cool down on yourself. So if you're getting uh, raped by a load of aliens, you cool it down, and basically a mortar strike lands on you, but it doesn't hurt you. <clears throat> and obviously the, the more you upgrade it the better the mortar is the more mortars there are so you can run around with six mortars just behind you the trinity rockets is a remote control missile uh, which has you can basically so it's like a predator missile uh, and you get as you upgrade you can get better missiles and you can get a lot more missiles uh, which is really good as well the sentry gun is a sentry gun i don't really think i need to say any more than that uh, basically as you upgrade more you can have two turrets or you also have armor piercing ammo really good against destroying the uh, boss hives at the end uh, then you have the vulture which is a drone that follows you around uh, as you go upgrade this one it lasts longer and fires incendiary rockets every now and then so if you want need to use these definitely at least one maybe two people use the IMS for close quarters protection the mortars are good but not amazing. Uh, the sentry guns are also really good. I would suggest having two IMSs and two sentry guns personally. 
uh, unless you've got the grenade turret which is on the next one which I'll show you in a second if you've got the grenade turret have the vultures with you so to the equalizer which is your personal heavy fire power mode so one of them is a portable minigun turret which is a little turret so it's not as powerful as a full turret but they're really good you get lots of ammo when they're upgraded and you also get explosive bullets your grenade turret which basically is a grenade launcher on a turret so very explosive grenades as you upgrade more you get incendiary rockets that will burn the targets after impact also this is really good if you're using it against the big hives that you have to destroy with a helicopter as it destroys them a lot quicker the crowd control is a right shield with 10 shield health uh, this is good but I don't use the right shield when I use this I found it quite hard to use and it wasn't actually that helpful the MK32 launcher is a grenade launcher that you can carry around, so very much like the grenade turret, but you can carry it around. You also can upgrade it so it has 12 grenades, which is handy, um, especially when you've got a lot of enemies near Hive 14. Then you have the death machine, which is a portable minigun, uh, so you, as you upgrade you get more power and more ammo. Out of these, I highly suggest having at least two grenade turrets for the end bosses and probably a two death machines if you're playing four player single player or solo i'd go for the grenade turret so that's the loadouts i hope this has helped you in picking your class and also understanding all the types because it is very daunting at first class please check out my channel for other how-to videos tutorials tips and tricks on extinction and i hope you enjoy the game mode peace out everyone